A man who spent two days in jail on Martha's Vineyard because of a typo. I'm Lisa Hughes. Paul is off tonight. And I'm Chris Tanaka. Yeah, the man's from Philadelphia. He was vacationing on the vineyard when he was put into handcuffs. As WBC's Brandon Truett found out, the whole ordeal started with two dollars and a misspelled word nearly a decade ago. Freedom feels really good, man. There's, a, there's such a thing as a freedom buzz. Angus McCubrey has been vacationing on Martha's Vineyard for about 30 years. His most recent trip started on August 21st and quickly became unlike any other. We were pulling out of the beach parking lot to go get some fish for dinner, and uh, uh, we, we were kind of backing out at the same time as another lady, and our cars. Our cars hit and ours was damaged. A simple fender bender. The 37 year old called police who filed a report. Things were good. He and his wife were on their way until police came speeding after them. My wife is like, what is happening? I was like, no idea. Um, they're like, sir, can you place your hands behind your back? We have to place you under arrest. Police told McCubrey there was a warrant out for his arrest. Tax evasion in Brookline from 2013. McCubrey lives in Philadelphia. I don't know how it's possible I could have a charge of tax evasion in a, in a, in a area where I've never filed taxes. McCubrey says he was held in the Edgar Town Jail for two nights before being placed on a ferry and brought to Brookline District Court. With time to think, he recalled being in Brookline in 2013. He had taken a taxi with a friend when there was a discrepancy over the fare. The driver was trying to upcharge them, wanting $7 when the duo paid five. While Ingus was being held here at Brookline District Court, his wife was busy going over the original police report. After combing through it for quite some time, she noticed something was off. McCubrey's warrant says he was wanted for tax evasion. Turns out that was a typo. He was wanted for taxi fare evasion. That taxi driver had filed a report. McCubrey says he never knew about it. The folks at Brookline District Court telling McCubrey's attorney this mix-up was a clerical error. He was free to go. Biggest takeaway from all of this? Protocol is a really destructive thing if it overrides all ability for common sense. Like, um, I think there are probably way too many people out there in this country who are just trapped in some kind of labyrinth of protocol. Tax evasion comes with a couple years in prison. Taxi fare evasion results in fines. McCubrey says at this point he would just pay the two extra bucks. He chalked it up to a dumb decision that he made in his 20s, never thinking it would lead to this. Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.